there was a plan for the world. And that plan included the destruction of freedom of speech and the creation of a centrally controlled global fascist communist state. A new world order. This included microchipping the population. Um, don't even start me on that. Money would be taken out of circulation, so only cashless uh, uh, money would, uh, digital money would uh, be used, which has fundamental implications for freedom. And a stream of other things which have all come true. What about the other people that I um, quote in my books, insiders, way back, who were saying this is what's going to happen because this is the plan? And it's all happening in detail, not even theme, detail, because there is a plan, there is a script. We talk about freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is being systematically destroyed. Uh, and uh, I'll give you the outcome on that. The outcome, uh, desired outcome, is that there comes a point um, which we're moving towards so fast when no one will ever see or hear anything that is not acceptable to the um, authorities, to, to the system. We are seeing now daily um, freedom of speech and censorship being increased and increased and increased towards that desired outcome of deleting all information that the authorities don't want people to see. Now what's been happening? The internet was actually created by this cabal. One of the reasons is that they wanted to put all information eventually that people receive and where they get their information, thus their perceptions, which come from information received, that's what perceptions are, from the internet, digitally. And the reason they want to do that is because once it's digital, then you can use algorithms to censor. You go into a shop now and you hand over um, a credit card, electronic money, and they say, sorry, won't accept your card, you can still pay cash. When there's no cash and they say, won't accept your card or your microchip as it's meant to be eventually, then whoever controls the computer controls if you have the ability to purchase anything. There is a cabal that wants to create a situation, which I've been saying since the 1990s and early 1990s, and look at it now, where we have a world government, a world central bank, the world government dictating to every community on earth, a world central bank dictating all finance, a world single digital currency, um, which means that through algorithms and even you know human input, you can wipe someone's bank account away because there's no cash in that society. You think you've got money? <laughs> there you go. You can do it. You can do it. Um, very simply. They want a microchip uh, population connected to a global computer system, actually what, what is, what is uh, known as the smart grid. They're now openly talking. People like Ray Kurzweil at um, the Google executive, you know, Google, Facebook, all these organizations, Amazon, they're all controlled by the same force to the same end. That's why they're becoming monopolies. They're dictating to people what they can see and hear and all that stuff. Um, it's all planned. But um, what Ray Kurzweil is talking about now, and people like him, is that by around the year 2030, humanity will be have their brains connected to artificial intelligence and he's very open about it uh, as um, this goes on artificial intelligence will do more and more of human thinking until human thinking as we know it now is basically negligible in other words you'll be a computer terminal on someone else's internet and the reason they're being so open about it is the is the sales pitch which is um, you'll be superhuman if, if, if you do this and what you'll be is subhuman, and human consciousness, human thought, human emotion as we've known it will be over. Because every thought, every emotional response will come from AI. 
He who controls AI will then control every human's perceptions directly who is connected to AI. And we've been taken along a very clear process to take us to that point. Stage one, you get the population addicted to technology they can hold. Well, basically achieved, smartphones, tablets, etc. And you target especially the young. Why? Because they're going to be the adults at the point you want to bring in this full-blown AI-controlled human. You want them so addicted and obsessed with technology that, as happens now, on, on, on one expression of it, they'll get up in the middle of the night and go and um, queue in the dark outside an Apple bloody store to get the first version of the new thing. Are you in this line? Yeah, I'm way at the back. How long have you been here? Uh, we've been here since uh, 2 a.m. Since 2? Yeah. Holy smoke. Get them addicted enough and they'll queue up waiting to be connected to AI, right? So that's why they're targeting the young. Stage 2, because what you want to do, you want to get in the body. And if they went directly to the body without anything in between, people would go, what's going on? Totalitarian tiptoe, you see. So the next stage is on the body, what they call wearables, holdables to wearables. This is your, your Apple Watch and your Bluetooth and all these gadgets now that people wear that are connected to the internet. And then you go to the next stage, which is in the body, in Sweden. And people, um, thousands of people now in Sweden are being microchipped. Uh, and, and, and queuing up for it, having parties to celebrate 